So I love our Wesleyan theology of salvation. Um, I love um, our the way we see salvation. Um, it's not only a one-time thing, but it's um, a multifaceted, multi-layered work of God uh, through God's grace. Um, and so I especially love uh, our theology of prevenient grace that God's grace goes before us, um, God's already working um, before us, and so we can count um, on God's grace that's already working. So that's just really great. Um, and also, I love the DNA of unity that is within us. Um, you know, 50 years ago, about 50 years ago, two di different denominations came together, and uh, we became the United Methodist Church. And um, I know that we're so challenged and we're struggling denominationally right now, but uh, you know, I think about the DNA of the United Methodist Church, and I'm cautiously hopeful that um, maybe um, half a century later, when I'm about to be retired, that I'll see um, once again just us really coming together and see one another uh, across the table, holding our hands together and united. So I think about Wesleyan tradition and um, just the history of how Methodists were at the forefront of social innovation throughout the history, uh, that we were part of um, some of the uh, systemic changes such as uh, prison reform, education reform, and um, even the um, abstinence movement uh, that was necessary and needed at the time, and that made a lot of changes um, in, in the society. And so um, my hope for the United United Methodist Church is that we uphold and uh, really honor that tradition and heritage to be um, at the forefront um, of social social innovation and that um, in that we um, change the world in systemic level uh, that um, we get to bring good um, on, in, in the ways that only um, only we can do as a body of Christ. I am an adult discipleship pastor, so just really being able to see some of the most committed disciples I've ever met um, in my life um, and really lifting up their ministries to uh, serve, serve us all, all, all of the ages. And so um, I'm really interested in creating new spaces for lifting up um, those um, gifts and graces. I have been really humbled and um, really uh, thrilled all at the same time to see how my Asian American voice um, have been really welcomed and nurtured by not only uh, my congregation members, but also uh, my ministry colleagues and um, community members. And uh, my uh, prayer is that I get to be a part of um, just the really cool things that God is doing in um, AAPI communities and that um, just being really part of lifting up the voices of AAPI folks um, and their voices that, has, that have been um, silenced for the last several decades.